There is a candidate down in North Carolina that believed that you should vote for her because she's white. And then she put on her Facebook page that she's Republican, smart, white, and traditional. She didn't say what she was going to do for the city, how she was going to improve the city, what she can offer the city. She just wants you to know you should pull that lever for her because she is white. <laughs> Woo, these people are getting silly in these last days, ladies and gentlemen. But... This woman think that is a qualifying quality right there. All the only thing that comes to my mind is second degree sunburns and pus balls. <laughs> so <laughs> white is just not looking good. Let me go ahead and play this video. Would you base a political vote on skin color? Well, some might, and one candidate for mayor of Charlotte is banking on it. No, Fox 46 Charlotte's David Centendry shows us how the little-known Republican primary candidate Kimberly Barnett said you should vote for her because she's white. David? Yeah, you might be able to check off for a Republican or Democrat on a voter ballot, but Barnett has yet to explain to us why being white qualifies her to lead the city of Charlotte. She wants to be your mayor and thinks you should vote for her because she's white. Yes, Kimberly Barnett posted on her public Facebook page, Vote for me, Republican and smart, white, traditional. This long-shot candidate running in the Republican primary has a history of saying controversial things. We don't want to encourage the lower-income people. We want to encourage the higher-income people here in Charlotte. This was at a PBS debate in August, but back to the vote for me because I'm white thing. Fox 46 Charlotte was curious what she meant, so we reached out on social media. We called her. We even went to her apartment and left a business card. Still, no response, so we reached out to her opponents. We're here talking about a candidate that will likely garner less than one percent of the vote if that current city council member kenny smith says who cares about race there's work to be done homicides are on the rise infrastructure is failing and we're 50th out of 50 cities in economic mobility she's using the race card candidate gary dunn says that's no way to win votes there'll always be a black and white divide uh that's how people figure who otherness is it's profiling in the short way but you have to think past that. Just weeks after racial riots in Charlottesville, Fox 46 wants to know what voters think of a fringe candidate suggesting she's qualified because she's white. I've never voted for a candidate for the color. Uh, it doesn't matter what color you are, what race, because God created all of us. Barnett has since removed smart, white, and traditional from her bio. Posting on her page, there is a group called Congressional Black Caucus, alluding to reverse discrimination, adding, I'm sorry if I describe myself as white and it offends others. We will continue trying to reach her. Back. Why would you have to describe yourself as white when people can apparently see that about you? And why is it that it's always the ones that claim they're smart and have high IQs that need the most schooling. Does she need to be um, schooled on why the Congressional Black Caucus had to be formed in the first place? Why are you high IQ people always the dumbest? And you gotta always have every damn thing explained to you. Damn. Moving on. Long shot candidate in Republican primary election for Charlotte. Mara Race wants you to vote for her because she's white. Loretta, do you care that she's white? I don't either. I know. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> Kimberly Page Barnett posted her public Facebook page. Vote for me. Republican uh, smart and white 
traditional. What's traditional? Jim Crow? <laughs> the post has since been changed and Barnett posted a status reading in part. There's a group called Congressional Black Caucus. What a dumb point to raise. Go learn something instead of running your, your Jim Beam looking ass mouth. The woman looked like she done hit the Jim Beam bottle one too many times. She looked like an alcoholic to me. Fox 46 Charlotte reached out to Barnett via social media, phone, and several stops to her apartment, but there has been no response. She was probably uh, face down from drinking Jim Beam. I, I, you, may, you may need to knock a little harder if you go over to that apartment. But ladies and gentlemen, tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe <laughs> if you can. Um, make a donation to my channel. Please do make a donation. I'm black. <laughs> Peace, family.